What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jay Media one and today we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Simic SYMIK P250MM waterproof hard case. This is for the DJI Mini SE or the Mavic or the Mini Fly and it fits some others combo. This is a professional grade carrying case made of PP plastic alloy with military grade superior protection. This thing is also waterproof, and I think it's just a really cool case to carry your drone around in, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So let's just get straight to the unboxing, guys. Let's go. Okay guys, so we got the Simic here, and as you can see, it just comes in this brown little box here. Nothing too special, but we also have the drone, the DJI Mini SE. So you have to have both of these because we want to show you guys what it looks like once we get it out of the unboxing and into the placing the drone in the case. So here we just have this little flap, nothing too special. We just open this up. And inside here, you can see that the case is in there and it's wrapped in plastic. So we're going to pull this guy out. There's nothing else inside the box, so we're going to get rid of that. We got this plastic here, a little bit of warning on it. <coughs> and inside here, we got the case. And we can see that it has the Simic logo on the front. It's a little bit peeling up there, which is strange. But this is the case, and this thing's heavy, heavy duty. You can see it's got the plastic on the back to cover the logo as well. It's got this nice placard. It's got this placard on the front as well. We got a really rugged handle here. Super heavy duty. Nice, super durable rubber. Here we have a little name placard that you can put like a little placard inside of here that says who it is, which is pretty cool. We got this little vent on the front. And then we got our clasp so you can open it like this. Pull these clasps all the way up, kind of fold it down, and it just opens just like this. And this thing's really, really rugged and heavy duty. Comes with a little bit of a reading material here. Basically told, tells you what it's made out of, where all the different spots are that everything can be held. And there's an additional foam piece inside of here. You can see it here. that goes into this little slot here in the top, and you can put that foam piece back in there. If you don't need it, I mean, they got this little cutout here for a reason, but if you don't need it, you could put this back, which is cool. We just have a bag of silica in there. Keep the moisture out, so we're going to get rid of that. Keep that foam to the side. And then you see these little plastic cases. These are going to be for things like your propellers, your screws, uh, maybe a screwdriver, different things like that. So there's three of these little special cases over here, which is cool. And then we got a spot for our controller. We got a spot for a charging station with some batteries. We got a little battery spot up here. And then we got the slot cut out for the drone itself. You also have these little tiny holes right here. And these holes are going to be good for you to put the thumbsticks into. And then there's a tiny little slot over here that you can barely see. If I kind of pull that out, maybe you could see a little bit better. But that slot there is going to be for your SD card, your micro SD card for the drone as well. So this thing's got everything that you could possibly need for the drone. We're just going to stick that back up in there. We're going to set this to the side for a minute because we're going to bring the drone back. And so this is the box that the drone comes in, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's suitable. And so you got the controller kind of sits in there like this. And then we got the drone itself and then I just got the thumbsticks kind of laying in there like that so we're going to set that over here and then I don't think I have my extra propellers in here but we can always put those in later so nothing to worry about so we're going to get rid of that box and we're going to bring back the case and so this is where your controller sits so if you look here we're just going to tuck that away and make sure these are folded down and then the controller just sits in here just like that. And it fits perfectly. I mean, they did a really good job with the cutouts to make it fit perfect. Here's the thumbsticks. So you just take those, 
Those go right inside of the slots here. So they fit tight and nice. Right, like that. And then we got our drone. We got it all folded up, ready to go. So we just lay that right in here. And everything is just perfectly cut and fits really, really nice. So this thing is going to do a great job making sure that the drone is well protected. And like I said, there's a lot of reading material. It talks about the nameplate. It talks about the controller sticks, which are right here. It holds up to seven batteries, which is awesome. I don't know if I'll ever get that many, but it does have that option. And the charging hub, like I said, goes right in this area. And then you got a spot up here for your power adapter. And then the micro SD slots, which we already talked about. Of course, the drone itself. And then up inside of here, they say this is the slot for um, a special slot for propellers where they won't be pressured by the foam. They won't get bent. Um, like I said, you can keep that in place or you can remove it so that it kind of leaves extra room for the propellers. But having it up there, I don't think is going to hurt them. So we're just going to keep it there. So once we got everything in place, this kind of sits down snug. It's not real easy to close. And that's a good thing because if you look on the top here, we have this gasket that runs all the way around. And it's a really kind of soft, pliable gasket. And that's going to sit where this ridge is right here. And that's going to keep it waterproof. So once we bring this down tight, we can clasp it in there. You hear them lock in. And then we know that everything's locked into place and it's not going anywhere. There is no room for movement inside of here. So that's great. And that means that it's going to be well protected. Uh, I think this thing would be pretty good for dropping as well because it's not going to damage it. You got these two little holes up here on either side. And those are going to be good if you want to put a lock inside of there so no one can get a hold of it. And then we just got the feet on the bottom. These four little feet that are going to keep it in place when it's setting down like that. And it's just a really nice case. This is probably the best case that I've ever seen for protecting the drone and just making sure that everything's going to be nice and waterproof and tight in there. And like I said, you have the option to put your propellers in here, screwdriver, things like that, your screws, all your extra stuff, charging hub if you like, and then your, your power adapter. So you got room for about everything that you could possibly need. And that's it for the case, guys. But I really think that this case is super cool. It's made by SYMIK or Simic. And we're going to get into just a little bit of the tech specs and go from there. Okay, guys, we are back and we're going to get into the tech specs a little bit. First and foremost, this thing is only $32.49, which I think is a pretty smoking deal given just how heavy duty it is. So the features and details. So this is not for the DJI Mini 2. It's for the Mavic Mini and the Mini SE only, which is the SE that we demonstrated for you guys. It is military grade waterproof. It's made out of PP plastic alloy. Uh, the quality is comparable to Pelican or SKB. It's got EVA foam insert precisely cut for the DJI SE, the Mavic Mini Fly, more combo. And it's got one times DJI Mavic Mini or DJI Mavic Mini SE drone, which you could fit in there. It's got the ability for one power adapter, one charging hub, seven batteries, one remote controller, and two SD cards, plus two remote controller sticks. Uh, this is not designed to be able to fit with the Mavic Mini with or without extensions, landing gears, such as the PJY Tech and the Simic. Um, that those are also on Amazon and available, which are pretty, pretty cool. And we will leave a link for those below. Uh, so the special design considerations we have, it's the top egg shell foam special slot to release pressure for propellers. Propellers won't get bent during long-term storage. The cutout foam piece is also included, so you could stick it back if you prefer a complete look. The piece is uh, back glued. You remove the protective film and you can expose the glue. There is three Mavic Mini battery size storage cases included so you can store the tiny or delicate parts inside without losing them or damaging them. 
Those parts include extra propellers, propeller screwdriver, propeller screws, extra remote controller sticks, remote cables, SD cards, etc. There's four special slots for micro SD cards and remote controller sticks, which you guys saw in, in the unboxing. The dimensions on this thing is 11 by 9 by 5 inches. The item only weighs one pound. That's it. Um, it gets 4.8 out of 5 stars on Amazon. And I think for the price, this is probably the best case that we're going to find for this. So you guys should definitely, definitely give this thing a look. We are going to leave a link below for you guys to purchase your very own if this is something that you're interested in. As always, if you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you guys can stay updated when we release new product reviews like we do all the time. And also take a look at our podcast. That's just J Media One on all the podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. And other than that, guys, leave a comment below if this is something you like or something else that you would like to see in the future. We look forward to hearing from you guys, and we will see you in the next product review. Later, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.